I want to give you a sense of how this protest uh, started just about an hour and a half ago. There are more than a thousand people here now. When we got here about an hour and a half ago, there were, I, I would guess, maybe 30 to 50 all back towards this pole near the intersection of Hubbard and Armour. That has since spilled into the street uh, and butted up against the police line that is surrounding all of the protesters here across the street from where President Biden is expected to have his fundraiser. Um, I do want to tell you, uh, show you exactly what this looked like a few minutes ago. Many, many people in support of uh, Palestine from all walks of life uh, calling for a ceasefire and very, very critical of President Biden and the policies of the United States that they say are supporting Israel in something that is akin to a genocide in Gaza. Gaza. You can see hundreds now at the corner of Armour and Hubbard and Westtown. They say they want to show the president they're a formidable voting block and believe he has the power to call for a ceasefire in Gaza to allow innocents to escape, saying Israel's response to Hamas's attack is disproportional and, as I said, akin to genocide in their words. I spoke to a spokesperson for the U.S. Palestinian Community Network just before this protest. Here's what he had to say. He has the power, the only person and the only country that has the power is the one that allows Israel to do it to begin with. And that's why we're here. He's the one that can make a change. Okay, so we're hearing chants of give us room now. Uh, the thousand or more people who are here at, at Hubbard in Armour in Westtown. Uh, butting up against the police line here. Of course, we're going to uh, stay safe while we report the story, but we are going to be here to bring you uh, everything that happens in the next few hours. So please stay with us here at ABC 7 Chicago. For now, I'm reporting live in Westtown. Mark Rivera, back to you. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC 7 Chicago Eyewitness News.